So first off, we've got the leg press. It's gonna be three sets. The first couple sets are gonna be six reps and the last one is gonna be eight reps. In terms of progressive overload, last week I was at 190 kilos. And again, this is just for reference. It doesn't mean you have to go on that way. Uh, you can go lower, you can go higher. For me, 190 kilos is a lot. Anyways, today I'm going for 200 kilos on the first couple, well, I'm gonna try the first one. Depending on how that goes, I'm gonna go for the same weight, 200 kilos on the second set, or I'm gonna drop it to 190, and then on the last set, I'm gonna try and go for 180. So, progressive overload, we try to increase the weight, increase the amount of reps, that's what it means, basically. Uh, hope that makes sense. Keep watching, and I hope it does actually. So let's see how it goes. Let's go. First exercise done. If, in case I didn't mention it before, key thing on the leg press, at the top of a movement, you never wanna lock your knees. It can get really, really ridiculously dangerous. So please don't do that because we wanna avoid any injuries. In terms of tempo, this is a two, one, two, one. Meaning two seconds up, hold for one second, two seconds down. Hold for one second. On to the next exercise, let's go. Right, next we've got the leg extensions. Really good exercise, I love it. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is uh, three sets, six to eight reps on the first couple sets and eight to 10 reps on the last one. It's gonna be really intense on a two, one, two, one tempo. Two seconds up, hold for one second. Two seconds down, hold for one second. In terms of progressive overload, I was on 66 kilos on the, first, on the first couple sets last week. I'm going up to 73 kilos. Again, it doesn't mean you have to go for that weight. You can go lower, you can go higher. Depends on you, so just bear that in mind. Let's see how it goes. Let's go. Right, that was really good. If you do it right, you're gonna feel it. Right here, in the quads. So it's gonna be really, really intense, really, really good. I really recommend it. And uh, remember, it's really important for you never to lose tension. And a personal preference of mine, you don't have to do this. But just so you know, on the very last rep, on each and every set, I try to go lower on the last part of the movement. So when I'm on the top, I tend to go uh, a bit slower 
So holding that tempo for as long as I can, holding that tension for as long as I can, just to get those muscles burning and really, really working for me. So there you go, on to the next exercise. Let's go. Uh, next up, we've got the barbell, Romanian deadlift. Difference between a Romanian deadlift and a deadlift and a regular deadlift, de <laughs> and a regular deadlift, in case you're wondering, uh, basically on the deadlift, you drop the weights on the floor and with the Romanian deadlift, you keep the, the barbell, you hang to the barbell at all times so you never drop it on the floor. Uh, it's gonna make sense uh, when you watch it. But yeah, uh, it's gonna be uh, three sets, six to eight uh, reps on the first couple sets and uh, eight to 10 reps on the last set on a tempo of two, one, two, one. So down for two seconds, hold for one second, up for two seconds and hold for one second. Let's see how it goes. Let's go. That's another exercise completed. I am totally out of breath. It's amazing. It's really tiring, you do it right. Key things uh, here on this particular exercise. First of all, if you're going, if you're getting closer to your body weight or above your body weight, make sure to use a weight belt to prevent injuries, especially in the back. So that's really important. Second thing I wanted to mention, ideally you want to start the movement. Hopefully you are seeing that through all of the sets. Uh, you want to start with, from uh, the safety bars. So get the barbell from the safety bars and start the movement, uh, the bottom movement, and all the way up again. That's ideally the proper way to uh, actually start this exercise. And the last thing I would absolutely recommend is for you to get these. These are called the figure eight straps. I'm gonna leave uh, the link down below in the description. So make sure to get these at some point in time because they will definitely help you. Uh, get rid of uh, focusing on the grip, on holding to that barbell, uh, getting that tension off your, your forearms as well and just focus in on your legs and a bit, a bit, a bit of your back as well. Uh, so yeah. There you go, on to the next exercise, let's go. Next, we've got the prone leg curl. An alternative for this exercise would be the seated leg curl. A similar thing, uh, depending on the machines you have on at your gym. Uh, so with this one, uh, we wanna go uh, for three sets. On the first couple sets, we're gonna go uh, six to eight reps. And the last one, it's gonna be eight to 10 reps on a two, one, two, one tempo again. So two seconds up, hold for one second, two seconds down, hold for one second. Hopefully that makes sense as you watch the exercise. And in terms of progressive overload, last uh, week I was at 59 kilos uh, on the first couple, couple sets and then dropped that to 54. Today I'm gonna go for 60, uh, 61.3 on the first couple sets and then drop it to either 59 or 54. Again, just for reference, this is just for your reference. You don't have to go on that weight. Uh, you can go on a lower, higher weight depending on you. So. Let's see how it goes. Let's go.
this one was a bit hard for me today. Depending on the day, you're gonna feel some exercises better than others, uh, better than last week. The last time you performed the exercise, you never know, it's gonna be depending on the day, that happens often. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention is, you, well, obviously you, do, you never wanna lose tension on this exercise, but also you wanna keep focus on your form and tempo at all times. That is massively important, like ridiculously important. But another thing I wanted to mention as well is if you're at the top of movement and the form is not getting right, that's fine. You can also go for what's called partial reps, meaning you're not completing the full movement. You wanna really be careful with this because you don't wanna do many more reps uh, so, so much that you could get injured. So really be careful with this one. Then again, partial reps sometimes might help you also develop further your muscles and uh, your fibers as well. So just bear that in mind. And let's go to the final exercise of the day. Come on, we've got this. Down to the last exercise of the day. We made it, well, almost made it. This is the standing calf raise machine. Uh, an alternative for this one would be the calf raise, well, doing calf raise with the Smith machine. Similar thing. Uh, in terms of progressive overload, last week I was going for 90 kilos today. And again, this is just for reference. Uh, I'm gonna go for 100 kilos across all sets. It's gonna be three sets of eight to 10 reps on a two, one, two, one tempo. Two seconds up, hold for one second, two seconds down, hold for one second. And yeah, let's see how it goes. Let's go, last one. Here we go, here we go. All right, that is it, workout completed. Oh my God, that feels so good. If you do this exercise right, you're gonna feel it straight away on your calves, that burning sensation. Uh, honestly, without that much effort, uh, hopefully you did notice, in case you didn't. Uh, key thing here on this uh, particular exercise, you wanna get your uh, ankles all the way down so uh, yeah, as, as low as you can. So then uh, with the, the straight with the straight leg, so then you can go up and focus on squeezing those uh, calves. In my case, I am particularly focusing almost 80, 90% on my left calf, just to fix that sort of imbalance due to my walk or the way I step. Anyways, we are not done yet. We still have 20 minute work uh, cardio to finish the workout. So I hope you have enjoyed the video so far. Hopefully I'll leave the cardio uh, bit just to wrap things up very quickly uh, for last. So yeah, let's go. All right, so that's it for today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, leg workout today. It was really good, really intense. Always bear in mind, you need to progressively overload over time. That's really important. That's uh, key information. So not just coming day in and day out to the gym. But that's basically it. I want to keep it short and simple today. So if you found this video interesting, if you found uh, the workout idea interesting, if you're gonna try to implement it for yourself. If you have started your fitness journey in 2024, tell me what have you been doing so far? How's that going for you? If you haven't started, 
what's stopping you from starting your fitness journey in 2024. I'm giving you the tools, so hopefully you should be able to start using them. And again, if you found the video interesting, please consider giving it a like and please consider subscribing to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And it would also help with YouTube's algorithm. And that means we just get the video across these videos across to people who might need it for the workout ideas or who might be interested in fitness content so that would massively be appreciated without further ado thanks so much guys for watching you rock you're the best you're awesome you're amazing and until the next time bye